Continuing on with solving systems by using the elimination method, we come across this one. Now in the last example, we just had to multiply one equation by something so that we could get a variable to eliminate. We could do the same thing here, but that would cause us to have to work with fractions, and I don't want to do that. So I want to try to eliminate the x's or the y's, and you're going to see that it doesn't really matter which one you use. Now a lot of times students are going to look over here and see this guy's minus, this guy's plus, and so the easiest way or the easiest variable to eliminate is going to be those, the guys that already have opposite signs. There's two ways of looking at this. One way is to just find the common multiple between these coefficients. So between 3 and 4, the least common multiple is 12. And so you'd figure, okay, how do I turn this into a 12? And how do I turn that into a 12? Okay. Another way is to just take these coefficients and uh, take them and crisscross them. Okay which means I'm going to take this 3 and multiply the bottom equation by 3 and take the 4 and multiply the top equation by 4. And this kind of goes back to like a super cheap, easy way of getting a common denominator. Not necessarily the least common denominator, but a common denominator nonetheless. Now, if you look at 4 and 3, they don't have a common factor. So this is really as low as you can get. When you multiply this, you would get a negative 12y here. You get a positive 12y. So looking ahead, we can see that we're going to have additive inverses for those y terms, which means they're going to eliminate to give me 0. So now let's multiply this and verify that what we're saying is true. All right, so when I multiply everything in the top equation by 4, I get 8x minus 12y. 4 times 31 is 124. Multiply the second equation times 3, so that's 21x plus, distribute, that's 12y, equals 3 times negative 22 is negative 66. All right? And you see that these guys are additive inverses, so that when I combine everything on the left, those guys are going to go away. Now, you see that I'm not crossing them out. Um, Sometimes that leads to bad work by students. So it's once you combine everything that you end up with just 29x. 124 minus 66 is 58. And then one small little step here to eliminate, or not to eliminate, but to um, give the x completely by itself. Divide by 29 and x equals 2. And so now that we have x equals 2, let's plug that back into one of the original equations to see what y equals. So I'm just going to take the first equation, and again, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. So 2x minus 3y equals 31. I'm replacing the x with 2. All right, so 4... minus 3y equals 31. Subtract 4 on both sides. Negative 3y is equal to 27. Divide both sides by negative 3. And y is equal to negative 9. All right. And again, we can easily check things to make sure that uh, everything works out the way that it's supposed to. If I plug in 2 here, can do that in your head. So 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. So 14 minus 36 is negative 22. So everything works out. Everybody's happy. As long as we write our solution as the ordered pair to negative 9. Alright. Well, everything seems to be going along just splendidly, right? Let's do one more guy right here. So 5x plus 8y equals 2, and 7x minus 9y equals 5. So, doing what we did for the first problem, let's try to eliminate the y's, right? We see they already have opposite signs, so maybe that's what we're supposed to do. 
take this coefficient of 8 and multiply it times the second equation. Take the 9, don't, don't do the negative yet. Like, do this without signs first and see what you get. And multiply the top equation times 9. So 9 times 8 is 72. 8 times negative 9 is negative 72. So these guys are going to go away. All right, so let's multiply this and see what we get. All right, so we get 45x plus 72y equals 18. And then down here, that's 56x minus 72y is equal to 40. All right, make sure that I've distributed, multiplied everything correctly. Okay, I feel good about that. When I combine everything here on the left, those y's are going to go away. 45x and 56x is 101x. 18 and 40 is 58. And then divide both sides by the coefficient. And we have, oh my, 58 over 101. You're probably questioning a lot of your life choices at this point. Remember, fractions are just numbers. Now what we could do is we can take this fraction, plug it into one of these original equations, replace the x with that, and solve for y. Now we can do that. It's a lot of fractions. It's a lot of work. Instead of doing that, I suggest you come back to this original system. So let's rewrite the system. And instead of trying to eliminate the y, eliminate the x, right? We already know what x is, right? So let's come back up here and let's try to get these guys to cancel each other out. So if I try to do that same trick I did with the y, and I do this bottom one by 5 and take this coefficient up here, let's see what we get. So that's going to be 35x and 35x, and that's going to be a problem because we want them to go away. So that means you have to end up with one positive and one negative. So it doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to make this guy negative. So that gives me a positive 35x with a negative 35x. So I can see that these guys will be additive inverses, and they're going to go away. Now let's rewrite our system after we've done this multiplication here. All right, so that's 35x plus 56y equals 14. And then down here with a negative 5 distributing is negative 35x plus 45y equals negative 25. Man, this looks really familiar, right? 56 and 45, just like I saw over here? Hmm, interesting. So that's 101y equals negative 11. So let's make sure that we get y completely by itself. So y equals negative 11 over 101. So we already had x. Now we have found y. So these two guys right here will form our solution. I never said the answers have to be pretty, right? And you definitely do not want to try to convert these guys into decimals. Only go to decimals when told to do so. So here is your exact answer. Again, it is not the prettiest in the world, but it is correct. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can get the same answer using our, calcu using our calculators and one of the neat little functions on the calculator called the matrix. So see you after the break.